Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And with me today, David Dodd, the CEO of Eterna Zentaris, a specialty biopharmaceutical company, and also uh, Jeff Cross, a senior analyst with Crystal Research. And we're going to be talking about your company today. Um, I understand uh, there are phase three trials for both Zoptrex and Macrolin. Did I get those right? Correct. I, they're always Correct. tongue twisters. Keep me on my toes. They're nearing completion. Yes. Um, so what do each of these drugs do and what do you expect when they will report top line results? Yes, thank you. Well, both drugs are very exciting, as every company would say. Macrolin is a, a drug that is used, or that hopefully will be used to evaluate adults for growth hormone deficiency, a condition that many of us don't think about, but is a, a very uh, damaging condition in many ways to adults throughout the United States, throughout the world and all. Uh, that drug is in final stages of uh, pivotal clinical testing. We expect to announce top line results in early January of 2017. Okay. And if the Coming results, yes, yes, very, very mm -hmm. close, a few weeks. And yeah. if results are supportive, to file the new drug application uh, within the first half of 2017. And we would hope to then anticipate uh, commercializing the product before year end next year, all contingent on success. Wow, okay, and Zoptrex? Zoptrex is a very exciting drug in oncology. Okay. It is a drug that has been re-engineered from an established, very strong uh, chemotherapeutic agent called doxyrubicin and all, and yet somewhat what we would call tamed and all, in the sense that the side effect profile we hope to demonstrate is much more safer while also providing uh, extended life or survival to women with advanced recurrent endometrial cancer. Okay. That drug is a fully enrolled, fully completed enrollment, fully dosed and all. We expect to announce top line results in February of 2017 to file the new drug application, again, based upon supportive results in probably third quarter of 2017 and begin to commercialize that product about a year later. Okay, and Jeff, these two uh, drugs are game changers, potentially, for the company? They are, absolutely. Uh, Zoptrex, first of all, on the oncology front, the survival rate for most people with doxorubicin is generally nine months, 10 months in the literature. Uh, there's a lot of patients in this study that have gone out to 15 months. Now, you can't directly say it's because of Zoptrex, but as an analyst, I think it is. And I believe this could be a several hundred million dollar drug easily. And uh, for other indications, it could go into the billions, literally. The advantage of this drug, the key advantage of this drug versus doxorubicin is not only what I perceive as a survival benefit, but much lower cardiotoxicity. So the drug is a lot safer and it is more specific than other products that are on the market today. And that's why I have such a high level of confidence in it. On the macrolin side, macrolin should be something that which receives, I believe, orphan drug status. And that's a drug which could sit very comfortably with a lot of pricing flexibility in a marketplace where, you know, 40 to 70 million dollars is, is, is very achievable. And it's something where there's nothing else out there to treat it. So I have a high level of confidence in, in both compounds. And I believe this company is very interesting, especially given having two late stage products. And uh, specifically the senior management team, David Dodd and his team, you know, he's put together a lot of really bright scientific people and a lot of people with a lot of experience for acquisitions, for product launches, and they've done it before. Okay. So that's what gives me a lot of confidence in the new, I call it the new Aeternas and Taurus versus the old. So both the business side and the science side are well covered. We think in so. In your company. Yeah. yeah, we hope so. <laughs> that's exactly. the goal at least. Exactly. Zoptrex, uh, that is continuing to get out licensing activity. Yes. Um, how does that speak to the validation of the drug? I believe it speaks to the validation of the drug by the f fact that companies, be it in China, the largest uh, China-based pharmaceutical company, Sinopharm A thing, they out license the drug before seeing the final results, so they've seen enough evidence to want to make an investment in the drug and make a commitment to it, as well as the other three companies that have out licensed for their respective territories, Orient Europharma for Taiwan, Southeast Asia, Rafa Labs for Israel and Palestine, and specialized therapeutics for Australia and New Zealand. Each of those companies have gone through a full due diligence and decided probably that it would be a better deal for them to out license it before top line results are announced mm -hmm. than afterwards. And we continue to have other companies look into the rights, non-US rights that is, uh, for this drug, as well as companies reviewing uh, the non-US rights for macrolin. Okay, and tell me about Epiphany, the prostate yes. cancer test. Yes, Epiphany is an exciting product to be used uh, and is being used by urologists in the process of evaluating men for prostate cancer. It is the first non-PSA blood test 
to enable a urologist or a physician to be able to evaluate the risk of an individual, a male, for prostate cancer. It's not a replacement for PSA, but it is a, an, an assay that allows someone to have additional information to perhaps determine whether or not a biopsy is necessary. There are probably a million biopsies done annually in the United States that are not necessary. And if we can reduce that, we can take a huge cost out of the healthcare system, at the same time be able to provide greater information to both the uh, urologist as well as to the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jeff, so Crystal Research, you've given the reasons why you like the company. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you see for 2017? What should investors be looking for? I think the first thing to look for is the results. Um, key results coming in January, February. Um, if the results are as I think and as the company thinks, it will be a, a game changer, not only in the marketplace, but it'll be the most significant milestone the company has achieved. Mm -hmm. And in both areas, both products, both Zoptrex and Macrolin are much safer. They have a much better safety profile. Uh, Macrolin, uh, the, the testing which would normally be done in that area, uh, is very dangerous to the patient. The, the route of administration is very dangerous to the patient for competitive products, if you will. So I think that this product, both products have significant safety advantages, and I believe that they're very unique and different. And if the data continues as, as it has, with patients in the trial surviving for longer, while I can't point to the fact that we know it's definitely them, that that's the reason, they are living a lot longer than the literature. And that would lead me to believe that that's not a placebo effect. So for the company, I would look for those two events right at the beginning of the year. And then I would look for a significant amount of activity because once the results come out, if the results are positive, the company is going to be very much in demand with regard to licensure. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff Cross, Crystal Research, also David Dodd, the CEO thank of Eternas and Taurus. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining Actually. us and sharing the story, and best of luck to you with those thank results. You. Critical 2017, it sounds like, yeah. so best of luck. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King from the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. So for more information about small companies doing interesting things, you can go to smallcapnation.com.